Hello. My name is Lucy Christian. I play Jinpei the Swallow in Gachamon. In case you hadn't already heard. <laughs>
flying thing, and you'll need help. So I would assume that he'll probably be bailed out in the near future again. Life experiences. <laughs> oh, oh, what life experiences? What what method do I use to channel Jinpei? Um, I would imagine that. I mean, I don't know. I can't see me. You can. I imagine I make a pretty dorky face when I'm doing his voice. Because um, whenever I do, when I do him, as you, when you do a lot of roles, you really have to think about, I think about a certain vocal placement, a certain place in my head that he sort of lives. And um, I have a perimeter in there. And pretty much, I mean, I go off of, I've always loved kids, and especially boys. I spent most of my life growing up mostly around boys because my dad is a football coach. And as we would move, the guys would be the first people I'd meet in town, and um, which didn't always make me popular with the other girls. <laughs> but I've always, I've just always sort of, um, for whatever reason, um, had sort of an easy connection with the male mindset a little, I would like to think. And um, so I don't know, I just kind of let that play with Jinpei. And also, I mean, Charlie is very good about letting us have freedom and encouraging us to... Um, um, you know, every now and then there will just be some nice descriptive adjectives, and then you go, oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and then that, that gets added to his repertoire, you know, then that informs him, and suddenly he's got more color. And so I think he's a work in progress. I'm still trying to do him justice. Well, <laughs> I have to say, last night my roommate and I, I mean, I don't know if this is the, the, only one. There was the one where Jim pays in the speedo, which just stands out because it was so shocking. <laughs> it was quite shocking. It was very wrong. Um, but last night, I got to introduce my roommate, who is not a fan. Um, I had it on, and I had just thrown it on the computer, and had gone in to make some dinner, and she was transfixed, and it was just the first episode with the, the Turtle King, I think it is. And we sat down and watched that, and she started talking about, and she's Taiwanese, and she started talking about remembering stuff from way back when, and we got into this whole conversation that we would never have had. And so right now, I'm going to say the Turtle King, because it brought me and my roommate closer together. Well, being a person who, um, you know, knows a lot about some anime and not a lot about a whole rest of it, um, I would be uh, really pro turning people on to Gachamon that have not really had much experience with anime um, and people who have had a lot of experience just because it's, it's a novelty. It's a novelty because of its um, history. I mean, if you look at the extras, there are very cool extras that come along with this uh, show. And you get to learn a lot of the background. And this show was really, really important in animation history. It broke down, like, people were shocked by what they saw. This was sort of the first time that some things were done in animation. And we look at it now and we go, oh, how clumsy is that? Or, oh, how slow is that? How slow is this transformation? Or how unlifelike they are. But then it was the cutting edge, man, you know? Uh, it, was, it was totally off the hip. And... The best animators were working on that show. And I'm excited to see as the show progresses, I am really excited to see how it grows and morphs and changes. I've read, I've narrated a lot of the extras, and so I sort of have learned a lot about the show without even seeing a lot of what I've been talking about. So I'm, I'm stoked to see that pan out. I don't know, I think it would be a good show um, for all. I don't see why anybody wouldn't enjoy it, even if just to laugh. At it. That's mostly what Judy and I did. And ever, you know, whenever they would have the fight scenes and whenever um, the music would kick on, whenever they'd say <laughs> something like I was saying, uh, June has this thing where she's like, Well, I am the, you know, explosives expert, you know, and it's, <laughs> you know, the one chick on the team. And, and when she's not going, Oh, Ken, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just fun. Her lines are funny. They're all funny. I don't know. It's a riot. Buy it. I mean, obviously, if you're watching this, you have, and that shows that you have pretty good taste. So, word to you. Okay. 
I have been to a few conventions. Um, the first one I ever went to was, I guess, two years ago. And I had no idea what to expect. And I was a little afraid because of what I had heard. But I've had great times at conventions. Um, it's a real blast. It really is. Conventions are how I figured out what anime is really all about. And um, probably I would have to say conventions are the thing that has connected me the most to, to understand um, why people love this and sort of understand the romanticism of it and people, um, you know, wanting to put on somebody else's skin for a little while. Um, two, I mean, conventions have been the best place to meet and get to know other voice actors, which is a huge gift, um, huge, huge, huge gift. I was trying to explain to one of my friends in the real world <laughs> out there where other people work and don't have near as much fun as we do that, um, you know, it's having all these creative people come together, put us in a hotel, and tell us to have fun for a weekend. Bah, you know, all these emotionally um, creative people stuck together somewhere for the purpose of having fun. And that doesn't suck. I do have hobbies. I don't work all the time. <laughs> but sometimes it feels that way. Um, I have hobbies like uh, I took up gardening, organic gardening, no less. I know you want to touch me. And um, I like doing that. I am really a homebody. I love my little house. I love, right now I'm shopping for furniture for it, and that has become a, a mini obsession. I love it. I love getting great deals. I'm turning into my grandmother. I've been garage sailing, oh my gosh, and like flea marketing and estate sailing and... I have just loved it. I've, online, I've even ordered stuff, which is huge for me because I, um, I couldn't get past that whole online, you order something out in the abyss and somehow it comes to you. I just couldn't. But now I, I believe it. Um, I'm an avid reader. I love to dance. I love to play music loud and um, shop and drink coffee <laughs> and talk. I'm, I'm constantly, especially now that I'm traveling a lot more, um, my cell phone is sort of joined to me by an invisible umbilical cord. Um, so all the traveling and all the work has actually helped all of my relationships. <laughs> I'm a lot tighter with people than I used to be. So, Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying Gachamon as much as I am, and I will see you soon. Bye.